Now comes the fun part. Um, the acetate didn't work, so I did saran wrap, which actually worked really quite well. So what I'm going to do is take my plates with my design that's neatly attached, lay my acetate on top, try to get it aligned. And then you need to add enough pressure that it definitely presses, transfers all your shadows onto your piece. There we go, it's nice and pressed down. I'm going to take a wooden uh, stylus and notice I'm not drawing straight in. If I do that, I'll poke through, which is fine if you do, but this way I'm kind of just pressing through the saran wrap into the clay. And again, if you mess up, it's fine because it's clay. So you're going to be reshaping this multiple times anyway. So by adding the slab underneath, that is additive sculpture, what we're going to do at this point is subtractive. We're going to start removing areas of the face that will dip down. Okay, so this is where I really want it to be nice and tight. Hi. Hi. Sorry, there was an interruption. I'm going to outline some details for the nose. I'll dip in. Maybe re-outline the nose a little bit since I know the clay is getting pushed out. It's going to change the, the contour of the shape. So I'm going to re-outline and cut that away. Underneath. And there's another eyeball here. Pretty good. Okay, so now as I peel this away, whoops, forgot the eyeball. That's important. That is the eyebrow, the eye. Okay. There we go. Perfect. So the first thing we're going to do is take one of my loop tools. This is the larger one. There's the smaller one here. Um, and cut away that excess clay that um, here's the smaller one that was pushed out. And again, it's up to you how low relief you want this to be. You can carve into it more if you want. I just want that to be smoothed in. All right. So you can do that all the way around. For now, I'm going to start with the nose, and I'm going to go back to my stylus. I also like these plastic tools have some um, pointy tips to it. So I'm going to start with the nose, and I always keep my photograph and my line drawing next to me to refer back to. But your nose, there's a nice deep indentation, so I'm going to press. But notice I'm not going straight down. I'm kind of angling it, pushing the area around the nostril out because that's how your face naturally moves. And now I can kind of push this down as well. Now from here, I know from the shadow on my face, this is going to indent as well. So I'm going to take a deep indentation in front of the eye and kind of take this here. Now I've done sculpture before, so I know just by feeling my face that this goes down. I can use my finger maybe a larger tool. This one has a little bit bigger of an area. And play with different tools. See which ones you like. I'm going to be aggressive with this just so that this demonstration does not take forever. And I know around the eye, this is my eyebrow. The eyebrow will stick up, so I'm digging around the eye. I know the eye looks kind of funky right now, but I'll fix that later. So again, whoops, take a small tool going around the nose. And now I'm going to press this. I'm going to shape that just by pressing in a little bit and pressing down. That will give me a little bit more of the shape of my nose. And I'm actually going to go ahead and dig in there where my nostril is a little bit. Make it 3D. Now this doesn't have to look exactly like you. It's really just a starting point. Portraits are hard, especially in sculpture, and I'm guessing this is your first attempt, so just have fun with it. 
if it looks like some Star Wars character in the end, that's fine. Just have fun with it. So now I'm going to go around the hairline. And again, I'm not pressing straight down. I'm not going straight down. I'm going at an angle so that I have this nice arc area pressing down because the hair is going to be on top. So by pressing down around the edges, what it's doing is it's creating a 3D effect along my cheekbone. So I don't have to add any extra clay there. It's just giving it a natural three-dimensional effect. Now the hair, I'm just going to play. There's all these shadows I'm going to dig in. And again, I'm, I like this tool. This is a good one. I'm angling just to get some shadows, following some of the details that I already drew in there. And don't be afraid to carve deep. We have two layers of plate here. Two layers of flat slab, I should say. And there's a lot of shadow here, so maybe I want to do a little bit more. Now, I know my chin goes around here. This is going to be deeper, so I'm actually going to carve away some here. Because if you think about your chin, your neck is a little bit underneath. I'm sure I'll cut down just a little bit here. But again, I'm going to carve in. me doing plastic surgery on my neck. <laughs> if only were that easy, right? Okay. Go back. Smooth out the jawline a little bit. Oops. My hair actually comes down here. So I'm gonna... And if you want to add some hair or be creative with your hair, go for it. So the eyes and the lips tend to be the biggest struggle. So what I'm going to do first is start with the indentation where the two lips meet right here. So I'm going to press down and go straight back. So that's a straight hook. Now what I'm going to do is basically, let me show you with this one. Um, I'm straight up, straight up and down here. I'm going to angle this way for the top of the lip and then flip it and angle that way for the bottom of the lip. So on a smaller version, I'm going to go in here. And by pressing up just a little bit, it's giving you that smooth edge of the lip. And then the same thing here, I'm going to go into that crack and press away. So it's creating a little bit of a gap in the lips, but it gives it that more natural look. So it looks like, it doesn't look like I just drew the lips, it looks like it's sculpted. And now I'm gonna do the same thing. This area here is all bumpy. And if you look at the, that area above the lips, it's an indentation. So I'm just gonna press down in this direction because I actually wanna kind of remove some of that clay. And again, press, maybe get a wider angle and press this way. I'm pressing down in that direction. Maybe a little bit more on the nose. Now, I know my cheekbones are not this exaggerated, but I kind of like the look, so I'm just going to leave it. And now I'm giving myself the nose job I always wanted. <laughs> I'm going to help you identify all of the issues you have with your face. <laughs> that does not look normal, so I'm going to press this nose down. Go a little bit back into the nostril and just keep going, just a little bit at a time. Okay, that feels a little more natural to me. Okay, now the eyes. This is where I save it for last. The best thing to get a nice dark shadow here, I'm just gonna make a hole. I'm gonna go straight in with the stylus. Oh, that's kind of freaky. Just stab myself in there, rotate. Now, it's not a perfect circle. It's actually a bit of a half a circle. So I'm gonna go up in those corners right creating that shadow um, and I know I have another eyeball here on the left side of my nose if you're lucky you won't have that but I'm gonna do that as well 
Make it normal. Okay, looks a little creepy, so we're gonna fix that. Maybe I'll cheat and add some hair over that eye. There it is. Don't mind that. And then here, what I want to do is press in because the whites of the eyes will also be pressed in. And this is where you have to play. I'm going to press up and press down from the top. So what I'm trying to do is create an eyelid. And I have this um, little crow's feet right there. So by digging in a little bit gently, and now it's starting to look a little more normal. Now, now my eye is a little bit more open, so I'm going to go in there and just press up towards the front of the eye to open it up a little bit and press down from the bottom a little bit. Again, I'm using this as a guide. If it doesn't look just like me, I'm okay with it. That's going to be really tough to do. Um, if you want, you can add a little bit of texture for the hair, the eyebrows. Um, again, that's up to you. Um, maybe that'll make it look a little bit more like me because I know my eyebrows and the hair. Again, I can go in maybe a little bit deeper, add some more detail. But at this point, it's a little fine tuning and finessing. But that is my low relief portrait. And the next video is going to show adding numbers and letters.